Okay. What's happening? It's your boy Real with Real Talk TV. So I'm actually sitting in my car, right? So, um, if you don't know, Juneteenth, I'm gonna jump right into this. If you don't know, Juneteenth is a thing now, right? Okay, cool. But fuck Juneteenth. I'm gonna tell you why. Who gives a fuck about another day for niggas or Negroids to get around and just talk loud, drink alcohol, cook pork, um, barbecue, um, play loud ass music, you know what I'm saying? Probably shoot guns and shit up in the air for no reason, wasting them Walmart bullets. Like, fuck that shit. Like, y'all niggas is slow. Y'all niggas is slow. If you feel like they gave you something by acknowledging something that they did wrong, you a fucking idiot. Give me back my last name. Give me my 40 acres on a Maserati. You want a fucking... Y'all celebrating because you got a date of recognition? No, you don't stop there. See, they knew they knew some of you would sleep as fuck. And on this, and on this video, I'm going to speak my mind. They knew that if they did that, it'll calm you niggas back down. But breaking. Check this out. Okay. I acknowledge the fact that they're giving us a date, a holiday. We got enough fucked up pagan ass holidays that I don't celebrate at all. You know what I'm saying? I grew up and celebrated them, but when I took the red pill, I don't celebrate that shit no more. What I don't seem to understand is why am I surrounded by so many sleek black people? Like, it's like this shit sad. It's like. I'm not going to say I wish I didn't take the red pill, but it's like, it's lonely. It's lonely as fuck because it's like I'm surrounded by a bunch of fucking motherfuckers who, you know, um, feel like society runs their life. Like, I'm around motherfuckers who, who, who still look for dopamine in likes and comments and shit when they post. Like, I don't give a fuck how many views this get. I do... Because I want this to reach somebody. We need more than that. The reason they gave us that was because one simple reason. We started to push back. We started to fight back. Y'all don't think that they realize that the world is waking up. The veil is falling down. They realize that shit. They see that we see through the bullshit. So that's why they gave y'all that date. Y'all niggas is coming back down. Fuck that. Keep pushing through. Y'all niggas talking about some junk team, happy junk team. Don't tell me that shit. I don't give a fuck about none of that. At all. Y'all ne Negroes. K-N-E-E-G-R-O-Y-S. Need to turn in your damn whistle. Talking about some happy June team. Most of y'all niggas don't even know what the fuck June team. Do you even know what that is? You don't. Shout out to my boy Rashad Jamal, man. Like, that's, 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 I mean, besides, besides him, it might be a few more, but the rest of them niggas sell outs. Period. Period. I stopped posting because the world just want to fucking dance to some bullshit TikTok. They just want to make a challenge and dance to a challenge. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't heed knowledge. And that shit is tiring. It's exhausting to the point where you just be like, you know what? Fuck them niggas over there. Facts. Like Uncle Rucker said, fuck them niggas over there. Like you get to that point because it's like you try to tell somebody something on a spiritual level. They're like, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. But as soon as you bring up the goddamn LeBron, J LeBron James basketball shoes, niggas, is, they know everything about it. I'm try I've am i been trying to educate and wake my people up for a long time. For a long time. Listen, I ain't knocking nobody who celebrate that shit. But don't tell me that shit. Don't, 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 don't. Like, 
Black History Month. That shit don't mean nothing. Nothing. It don't mean shit. Because niggas still doing the same shit. And I can't even blame white people all the time no more. I gotta blame you niggas too. Because it's you niggas I'm worried about. The most when it comes to safety. When it comes to, you know what I'm saying, my security. Yeah, these, these white people are writing laws and black people are writing laws that, you know, are um, enslaving us and keeping us enslaved too. But it's you niggas. Y'all the real pandemic. Real talk. Y'all the pandemic inside the pandemic. Motherfucker done lost their mind. But back on point. If you feel that Juneteenth satisfies whatever feeling that you got towards you, the, the United States, right along with you, do your thing. Just don't fucking come over on this side because I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I want to know what my last name was before my people came over here. I want to know, was my people already over here, or was this shit all made up? I want to know, the kings and queens in Africa sell the, some of the people off to these white folks. I want to know a lot of shit, but I don't want to know nothing about no motherfucking Juneteenth, man. That's how I feel about it. It's your boy Real with Real Talk TV. I'm out.